Hello, my name is Luis Martin, I'm a resin artist, and today I'm going to show you how you can make something like this with epoxy resin. So after one coat with primer, um, this is what I'm using as primer. Some gels are clear, this one is white, but I have noticed that some of them, they don't have a good coverage. So after that, I paint my entire surface with white paint. It doesn't have to be in a specific type of paint. I'm using acrylic paint. It's cheap, it's good. I like it, it has good coverage. One coat, done. You don't wanna have patches of primer and stuff like that because sometimes the resin, it doesn't matter what type of pigment you're using. Sometimes it's a little see-through. So let's say if you're working with white, specifically light color, like white, beige, pearl tones. You don't want to have those patches from your primer. So yeah, make sure your entire surface is like even. Next step is start gluing your crystals. I like to use these that you can get on Amazon and I like to mix it up with these acrylic ones. So this is what I use to glue them, hot glue silicone sticks. You can get them anywhere. This is just to keep your crystals in place while you're working. Eventually you're gonna pour resin on top and that's gonna hold your crystals. But for today's video, I'm gonna be using Craft Resin. I have used it before and so far, I really like the brand for many reasons. It has an excellent UV protection. That means that your light colors don't get yellowish over time. It's odorless, non-toxic, non-flammable, and bubble-free. And I really like they come in equal parts. It's a one-to-one -one volume and they cure in 24 hours, which is really great. So as you see, I've been working with white pearls and silvers and glitter and white again and more blue. I know that a lot of people have their colors ready, but I make my colors as I go. To be honest, there's no secret. I just do whatever I think looks best, I would say. And since we're trying to make this look like a real geode, real-ish, um, I would highly recommend if you can, I don't know, take the chance and use a real one as an inspiration. And actually, that's one of the questions that people ask me a lot. How do I keep my lines so sharp? And what I do is, what I think it's obvious, I just wait. I wait until they're dry, and then I work on the next color, and that's it. There's no secret. So I'm gonna do one more stripe of silver, and then white, and I will call it a night. I like to create that faded effect, and I like to keep a big area of white. It just helps with the composition, you know? You don't want to have a whole saturated image. It's good to have a balance, you know, and be able to have that contrast. 